people have always been targeted by liars and thieves. But some are so creative that, deplorable as they are, they garner fame and fascination. With scam thriller movie Sharper starring Julianne Moore now airing on Apple TV, we look at some of the most notorious tricksters throughout history. The confidence man never wondered where the term con man originated? William Thompson is thought to be the culprit. In the 1840s, Thompson would approach upper-class men in New York pretending he knew them. With this trick, he would ask if they had the confidence to lend him their watch until the next day. Thompson would take it and never return. The well-dressed fraudster, above, used his charm and aliases to con many out of valuables. When he was finally caught in 1849, after being spotted on the street by a victim, and later jailed, the New York Herald wrote how he had used his victim's confidence to carry out his crimes, dubbing him the Confidence Man. The Ponzi scheme Although Italian Charles Ponzi did not invent the scheme which bears his name, he made it famous, after scaling up the scam, which lures new investors to pay profits to earlier investors. Arriving penniless in Boston, Massachusetts, in 1903, Ponzi came up with his scam based on coupons that could be exchanged for postage stamps with rapid returns of up to 100%. He raked in 12 million pounds in the first eight months of 1920. However, his lavish lifestyle eventually deterred new investment and the scheme collapsed. He was convicted on 86 counts of fraud, jailed for 14 years and died penniless. The slot mechanic with casino slot machines The odds are very much against us but not when Tommy Carmichael played. He spent two decades cheating casinos in the US and Caribbean out of millions. He once said, give me a slot machine and I'll beat it. Tommy, from Oklahoma, had been working in a TV repair shop in the 1980s when he first came across special tools to manipulate the machines. But in a bid to end widespread cheating, the casinos updated their machines, using random number generators. Tommy and his gang of crooks managed to adapt to and kept raking it in but by then he was under the spotlight. In 2000 he was arrested and jailed for a year. He died in 2019. The Crypto Queen in 2014, Bulgarian-born Crypto Queen Rumia Ignatova set up a multi-level marketing scheme selling a currency called OneCoin. However, the catch was that it never actually existed. Rumia, 42, is said to have swindled billions of pounds from people across the world and then vanished in 2017. Recent rumors say she was murdered on a yacht off Greece in 2018. But she remains one of the FBI's 10 most wanted fugitives. Count who sold Eiffel Tower. Twice Victor Lustig was no petty criminal. In fact, he had far bigger dreams. The Austrian-Hungarian native born in 1890, set his sights on the then tallest structure in the world and sold it more than once. Heading to France in 1925, he had stationery printed with the official seal of the French government. Then Lustig, styling himself as a count, contacted top people in the metal industry claiming the government was selling the Eiffel Tower for scrap. The first person he conned was too ashamed to contact the authorities. Lustig was finally jailed in 1935 for running a fake banknote operation. The trust fund faker Anna Delvey's story is the very definition of fake it till you make it. 
born Anna Sorokin to working class parents, the Russian con artist posed as an heiress to convince New York society and banking institutions that she had a trust fund worth £55 million. Between 2013 and 2017 she defrauded socialites, financial institutions and hotels in the city of a total of £230,000. Delvey, now 32, was found guilty of eight charges including grant larceny in 2019 and sentenced to 4 to 12 years. She was released in 2021 and Netflix reportedly paid her £266,000 for the rights to her story. Inventing Anna aired last year. The hooky heiress many people fantasize that a mega-rich relative will appear out of nowhere and shower us with gifts but Elizabeth Bigley pretended this was true. Known as Cassie Chadwick, the crafty Canadian, Galow, claimed to be the illegitimate daughter of Andrew Carnegie, the famous billionaire industrialist. After years of working as a fake psychic and forger, she established herself as his heir in 1897 and told people he had given her riches to buy her silence. When word got out, banks offered her massive loans and she lived it up for eight years until everything unraveled. In 1906 she was jailed for 14 years but died the next year, aged 50. The tax scammer in 2015, Elizabeth Holmes was declared the world's youngest and richest self-made female billionaire. The Stanford University dropout was the darling of Silicon Valley with her medical tech company Theranos. Holmes' firm claimed its machine could test blood for hundreds of conditions but this turned out to be phony. She scammed pharmacy firm Walgreens and lied to investors and patients. In 2022, Holmes, 39, was found guilty of one count of conspiracy and three counts of wire fraud. She was sentenced to 11 years jail but, having just given birth, is currently trying to defer it. The Tendler Swindler Israeli con man Simon Leviev became a household name last year after being the subject of the Netflix documentary The Tinder Swindler. Leviev, now 32, used dating app Tinder to connect with women from around the world who he manipulated into financially supporting his lavish lifestyle. He received £8.2 million from his victims under the pretext that he needed their help to escape his enemies. He was not charged but was convicted of separate cases of theft and fraud. The Wolf of Wall Street The story of Jordan Belfort was so compelling that it was brought to life in the 2013 film The Wolf of Wall Street, in which he was played by Leonardo DiCaprio. In 1989, Belfort started a firm called Stratton Oakmont, in New York, which used illegal pump and dump trading techniques. Brokers would sell the cheap stock at a higher price by misleading investors, then dump their shares to profit. Following a lengthy probe in 1999, Belfort was jailed for four years for fraud and released after 22 months. It is thought his huge boiler room operation cost investors more than £165 million. Now 60 and reformed, he gives motivational speeches. The puppet master Robert Freegard Hendy is said to live by the motto lies have to be bid to be convincing. The British serial conman and imposter managed to trick his female victims out of cash by persuading them he was an MI5 agent. Freeguard Hendy would then reveal that he was on the run from the IRA and that they, too, were in danger and so would have to cut off ties with their family and friends. In 2005, after an FBI probe, Hendy Freeguard, hello, was sentenced to life on kidnapping, theft and deception charges. 
however he was released in 2009 when the kidnapping conviction was quashed. The con man, 51, was the subject of the 2022 Netflix documentary The Puppet Master. But he is no longer pulling the strings as he is being held in France, ahead of his trial for the attempted murder of two police officers. Melting